Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to None of the Fluff, Only the Facts with Yvonne Sandoval and Coach Claire Autry. What a joy to be here, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. So uh, Claire is, I wanted to introduce everyone. She is the newest and latest and loveliest and delightfulest. Uh, of all the things, all, all the words, all the adjectives. She is the newest coach with Coaching 365, uh, powered by Leverage 365. And we're going to be talking today about, um, you know, Claire, uh, who she is, I want to introduce everyone to Claire, and a lot about um, her program, the things that she believes in, um, and how she helps her clients um, to overcome their challenges and strengthen their business. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the name of the show and how this even came to be. So what is none of the fluff only black mean, Claire? So I'm glad you asked, which is really kind of cute because Yvonne knows because she handles a lot of stuff for me um, and has in my business for many years. It's the facts, not the fluff. However, we're doing our thing. So it's none of the fluff, only the facts for us here at Leverage 360. Five. So I was taken by a realtor long years ago. And that was the whole reason why that I got into real estate as an agent. And because it was a whole bunch of fluff and not the facts as a consumer, I couldn't make qualified, educated decisions based upon my certain situation. So I integrated my whole business because previously to real estate, I was a business analyst. And I would help businesses find through my consulting work, their weakest links and help them resolve those issues to their strengths rather than looking at weaknesses. So that's what I did. I didn't want any other consumer taken by a realtor. So I got into real estate and my biggest thing was I want to deliver the facts and not the fluff because I want them to be educated and not taken by another realtor. That's what I, I love it. And I think and that applies to your, to your coaching as well. I mean, you're going to be talking to your clients about the real nitty gritty. I mean, it's there's a, there's a lot of fluff that can go into coaching that really isn't going to help people immediately build and strengthen their business. But you get down to the to the the facts and the nitty gritty and right into the trenches with them so that they can get out of the situations sometimes that they have found themselves in. Um, the challenges that they're facing immediately. And, and that takes me to my next question because I know that you and I, when we talk, we, we could talk literally, I mean, guys, we could talk for hours and like time to stand still. Um, it and, it, and it has. Because <laughs> um, you know, we just, we love, we love talking to each other and, and we have so much to share. But you gave me a testimony of what's happened in your life and how you bootstrap, pulled yourself up, did things, made things happen. And that was so moving and so inspiring that I know you're going to bring that to your, your clients, but, you know, can you share what you, you know, you want to share about that? So let's, let's go back just a little bit. Um, here's the other thing that I think is wonderful about this as well, Yvonne, is when I first hired a coach, it had to do with my limited way of thinking. And someone had made a suggestion that you might want to get a coach involved because we can't always see our blind spots. And a lot of times being a human being, we will so focus on our, on, on our weaknesses that it's a self-defeating situation. So then you grab a coach 
who actually turns that around and allows you to see the strengths of what you are doing and focus on those to get you out of that negative mindset. So throughout my years of real estate, which is 18 plus years, that is one thing that I resonate to the most is overcoming whatever there is, because it doesn't matter. I mean, some of y'all <clears throat> may relate to this. Some of you may not. Three time cancer survivor. OK. Breast, uterine, pancreatic. All right. And I have had a lot of life situations, deaths, you know, relationships, issues that typically we all run about. However, some people could look at that as a hindrance. Oh, I can't do that because of this. However, because I had coaching in place, it was more of, you know what? We can overcome that. And what are the strengths that my coach can bring out of me to where I have that strength on a daily basis? It's not what's going to happen way down the road. It's what do I have right now in my toolbox that I can use to get to the next step? Just one step, each step. <clears throat> so... In that, in, in coaching, what I have learned in the previous coaches that I've had, they were all geared toward production in real estate. However, that led me to having multiple coaches <laughs> because not only did I need someone in business, I also needed someone in life. I also needed someone who was a spiritual person. So when all of my coaching started coming about organically, about 10 plus years ago, it was geared toward the whole person, not just their production, not just their goal sheet. I have to dig deep like my coaches did in me in order for that to come to the surface so that we could utilize the tools that were beneficial and keep moving forward. Did that help? Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. I mean, there's, just, there's things that people, and every time I speak to someone, there's always um, a reason or a excuse however you want to frame that for why they can't do something and it's generally their the, the narrative the story that they're, tell, they're telling themselves it's not really based in facts it's, it's a lot a lot of times it's based on feeling emotions um and we are we're swimming in emotions all of us as human beings because of the things that are going on in our lives but we, if we have someone who's like a lifeguard and a, co a coach to me is a lifeguard what they do is they're watching out. Now you're not drowning just yet, but you're you're floundering. You're you look like you could use some help. The lifeguard is just there to make sure that you are staying afloat. That you're getting to the shoreline, and then when you and you're doing it strong. So I think that what a lot of people don't do is they can't see they can't see the shoreline. They're just they're in the moment. They're trying to save their lives, you know, and then that makes sense. But with you, if you bring in a coach, that coach is going to be able to be getting that water with you and get you safely to where you need to be. Or in this case, get you to your your goal line, wherever that goal may be. And everyone's goal is different. I right. mean, and I think that that's a great analogy, Yvonne, because, you know, if, if all of us think about our swimming skills, right? Yes. Are we all great at breaststroke? Are we all great at, you know, backstroke? Are we uh, No. However, the coach is able to look and analyze which stroke you are best at. Some of us are good at treading water and not good at swimming at all. I can tread water for hours. I would never drown because I can just float. I know how to tread water. However, there are other people, you know, Michael Phelps, that are very good at certain things and they're very excelled at it because they've created that skill. They've honed Absolutely. on that skill. And that's what's so awesome about having a coach in your world is allowing them to strengthen those skills that are in your benefit wheel rather than trying to strengthen a skill that's not in your benefit wheel. Exactly. I mean, I like the, I like that you said treading water and I, I, I know how to tread water and I'm doing that well. Well, that's the thing. I mean, that's what a lot of people who are not in coaching will say. Well, I don't need to be in coaching because I tread water and I tread it well. Well, you know, treading water is not swimming and it's definitely not getting you anywhere that you need to be. You're just staying in the same place. So and I think uh, there is a time and place when people hit that roadblock and they're like, well, I and when a, a person I was speaking to yesterday, they know what to do. That's exactly what they said. They said, I, they, I know what to do, but I need a plan. 
And that's one of the aspects and I, you know, of what a coach does. Yep. As a matter of fact, what I wanted to do is, you know, bring up um, your program, the, the Creed program um, is, is something that you came up with and it's uh, really a unique to Claire and Claire talk about what the Creed, I, we have it spelled out, but what is these, what do these words mean? They mean a lot to me because I like to collaborate with my clients so that it can resonate in their world to elevate their business and educating their community through their demonstration of what they do on a daily basis. Because for me, it's not about me talking at the clients. It's allowing them to grow as a business owner, as a business and as a human being and touching everything. And let me just preface this real quick, because because Yvonne, you and I have talked about this a lot. When you're looking for someone to be in your world, to be your coach, be very specific, okay? Because there are so many coaches out there, find the coach that's right for you. I am the type of coach that coaches to the whole person. I don't coach to a production. So this is what's interesting is I always ask a question. <laughs> are you wanting to be top producer? Or are you wanting to leave legacies? And there's the difference in my mind and the skill set that I bring to the table so far as coaching is concerned. I can't coach to, to legends. I can coach to legacies. And that may resonate with somebody and it may not. If you want more information, just get with me and I can explain that a little bit more. Absolutely. And, you know, Claire, for a lot of people may not you know, have met you before. So we like to make sure we we tell them a bit about yourself, you know, you're, you're 18 years in real estate, but you've been mentoring and coaching people for 27 plus years. Yes. Um, tell us more about that and, and more about, you know, you as, and your professional uh, coaching and, and what that looks like. So early on, which is really kind of interesting because it says 27 years. And anyway, so when I was, I was at a crossroads in my life at the age of 27 and decided to take a different path. I decided that my life needed to not have any kind of substance in it that was mood altering or mind altering. I chose that path and allowed a mentor and a coach to help me create those life skills in my daily life on a daily basis. That is where those skills come from. And because it was so freely given to me, I give back to my community in that sense. So some of that may resonate with people. Some of that may not. However, it has been 27 years, over 27 years, December 20, 22nd, 1996. No alcohol, no illegal drugs. That's just the way that it is. And that's a huge part of my life because it was, it was one of those things that I want to also add this into it. And, and my kids and my family can attest to this. I used to be a religious zealot. Okay. When I made this shift in my life, I realized that there was more to a spiritual growth pattern than what there was being a religious zealot. And in including that in growing and learning and eating what I needed on a daily basis, not just food, but nutrients through reading, through, through learning and having that coach, having that mentor right beside me, it allowed that breath to understand that I am a spiritual being trapped in a human form. And it had nothing to do with religiosity. It had everything to do with my spiritual path. Exactly. I, I mean, these are the kinds of things that I want people to know about you because that's going to be how they're going to know that they are with the right person, a person that they feel comfortable with because a coach is a very intimate uh, kind of relationship. You're, you know, you're sh they're sharing with you and you're sharing with them and um, people have to get real and they have to, you know, they have to not hold back because we can't help you unless, you know, just like I go into the doctor, you go lie to the doctor, you know, um, about, you know, the, on the questionnaire about how many drinks a week do you have, you know, he, he, then he can't help you if you're not telling him the truth. The I know, and they look at you kind of funny when it, you know, I mean, especially when I get, they look at you kind of funny and they're like, what? You know, so then you have to explain the story and I'm like, oh my goodness. So, you know, and, and that's what's so awesome is our life experiences allow us to help others. And, and here's the, here's the deal. I have been given the opportunity through 
excruciating circumstances and life experiences to share that to help other people understand that number one, we can be of useful purpose to God and others, you know, because it's not about me. It's about what we are contributing into this life. And that is so impactful because through that making that shift, I realized I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. And, and it was excruciating growth, you know, and there have been other growths along that way. However, from that foundation, it allows the stepping stones to move forward. Exactly. And, that, you know, I like the, the some, of, some of the things that we talk about, too. And when people um, actually get with me and, and have a 15 minute, it's about a 15 minute discovery call. I'm going to go through the program um, and go through all of the steps and, you know, a sample of what your sessions would look like with Claire. Um, so, you know, there's a QR code here on the bottom of the screen. That QR code is for you to use and you can make an appointment uh, for a 15 minute discovery call with myself. And I'll take people through what it is that Claire is actually going to do with you as her, as your coach. Um, but so some of the things that the reasons why you should work with Claire is, you know, she's going to help you with finding your blind spots. Um, there's lots of things that she's going to uh, review with you and then make a plan of action going forward. Um, but we'll go into that more in depth when, of course, when you when you reach out to me. Um, and, you know, the ROI of coaching, this is something that I wanted to bring up because I recently had a conversation with um, a person about this. And what they had said to me was, I, um, you know, if I, if I invest in anything, I want to know that there's a guaranteed return. So <laughs> I know what I had to say about that because I believe when you invest in yourself, and you are the, in control of all the variables um, as such, you know what the ROI is going to be because it's going to be more about the ROE, which is the return on effort. Um, but with coaching, Claire, tell me some of the, maybe a, a story about um, a triumph of with one of your clients that they, a breakthrough that happened. So this is what's so awesome with our clients. We always see those that are truly invested into their business, they always will exceed the goals that they have set up for themselves. Now, please understand that some of my clients, their goals is not a production or a money figure. It has to do with how many people they're helping per year. Some of my clients, it has to do with being able to leverage or build their business larger and stronger through leverage and other people. So it, it, it has to do not just with their bottom line net profit. A lot of it has to do with their life counterbalance. OK, I, I'm a full advocate that there is no such thing as work life balance. It is a counterbalance. And that is when we learn to ebb and flow through our businesses and notice when things need to happen quicker and faster. Like for my own situation, when my first coach was hired, it had nothing to do with production. It had everything to do with getting my daily lead measures consistent in my business. Let me just say that my uh -huh. daily lead measures consistent in my business and where did it show up? in my lag measures. So it didn't have to do. So as you are finding your right fit and finding your right coach, or even knowing if you need a coach or would like to coach or explore a coach, please understand that us here, you know, between Yvonne and, and all of her people that we have all together in her coaching, it's not just about production. Some of y'all, it may be, I need to make, you know, cause there was one year I told my coach, I was like, look, I need to get rid of $255,000 of debt because I had to have pancreatic surgery and pancreatic cancer. And it took me two years to pay that off. That was it. Wow. You know? And, and that was, that was it. And it was, it, here was my lead measure. Talk to 26 people a day, five days a week, period. End of story. Wow. And because of that, you know, Yvonne, you were in my world. You know how, how big the database was at the time. I think we had close to 7,000 people in the database when you were reaching out to them, you know, and, and you kept me on task. You need to make a video here. You need to, you know, there were certain things where you were guiding us as a team because what did we have back then? Five members on the team. Yeah, exactly. You know, however, we were closing close to 11 deals a month, you know, and did it lead to the diminishment of that debt? Absolutely. 
you know, I mean, I remember saying to, you know, my family, I was like, Hey, you got to give me two years. Just give me two years. We'll take a huge vacation, but I need two years. Just understand. And sometimes we have to help our clients with that. I have a client right now. They are dead on at exceeding their goals because they're focused on their lead measures on what they need to do on a daily basis. Cause not everybody lead gens, everybody has different pillars of how they do their business. And I think that that's what's unique about the people that you brought in your world here at coaching 365 is we are able to help the clients in their measure, not the way that we want to impress them. So thank you for that breath. Oh, exactly. I mean, the whole idea is that we're not taking out a booklet and going to page, you know, 33 and we're going to work to you know, page 44. It, it, uh, there, there are a lot of cookie cutter systems out there for coaching and, you know, whatever is going to work for the person, you know, that's great. But that's not who we are. No. We are focused on the individual. We're not for the masses. You know, what we're doing is focusing on you, what you want. And everyone's got a different goal. And there's different measures to, to get there, but sure. there is tried and true. There is the no, no need to reinvent wheels, but we're going to make sure that those wheels are turning and that you're held accountable. And, um, and, and if doing things that make you find your joy, that is huge for me in my business and my coaching is that we're going to make sure that you are the burnout. Uh, I know that's actually in the next slide. Um, is some of these are just some of the things a sample of some of the session goals that you will have with Claire and her Creed uh, coaching program. You know, finding a having a business plan together with her, you're going to develop that. She's going to talk to you about the three C's of an entrepreneurial mindset, uh, which you know is curiosity, connection, and creating value. This is something that you're, you can, you know, doing this with a coach. I can't imagine. I can't imagine doing this by myself. I, that's to me overwhelming. The, and it is. It's very overwhelming being uh, being a realtor, being a business owner. Um, and then she's going to help you also with um, setting uh, self-talk and the things that the narrative that you're telling yourself, having a healthy mindset and a big one for all of us, huge, focusing on your database. And doing that with purposefulness. <laughs> this is, I mean, if we could focus on one thing, we'll probably do a show just on this topic alone. Um, and, you know, and also, of course, the brick walls. Claire is going to help you to break through the brick walls and get over the burnout because this is a huge part of why people leave this industry. Absolutely. And I'm so glad that you brought that up, Yvonne. It's really kind of funny. Our perception is our reality at any given point in time. We may feel that that is a big, huge cinder block wall standing in front of us that we could never imagine getting over. And all it is is one little brick that's on the ground. And all it was was to step over it. And, and that is what coaches do. Now, you know, I'm a big advocate in college football. You know, I love college football. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, one of the things that I think are amazing is a lot of times our mindset is what's the difference between a trainer and a coach? Yeah. Okay. I like to look at it as this. And if anybody knows about anything about college football, it's, it's, it's kind of easy. <laughs> who is the, who is the athletic director for the college? Then they have a head coach. And then they have training coaches and then they have offensive coaches, defensive coaches. And, and, and I stick to football because, you know, I love football. You know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. just one of my that's one of my vibes. But then they also have skills trainers. Right. Well, with us, you know, here, not only do we have the AD, Yvonne, but we also have head coaches and we have a huge technology base where you're able to plug in on any of the skills that possibly need to be refined. And that's what I find so inviting is that I don't need to train you. And, and I know that you and I both, and let's, let's speak about this just real quick. You and I both have had clients that have said, just tell me what to do. And I'm like, Oh my goodness. Okay. So help me with this. And, and I'm like, I appreciate that you want me to tell you what to do. However, as a business owner, you need to be telling other people what to do. So I can't tell you what to do as a 
as you being the business owner, that's putting you in an employee mindset, not the entrepreneurial mindset. So well, help me help you. Let's let's take that out of our vernacular right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, and that's and that's the whole point of of coaching is that you know what most of us, and I know that especially in real estate, they you are an agent on your own. You may even if you belong to a team you still are responsible for the, your daily production um, and your daily activities. So you are working as a, a, a person in, who's working alone in a void. And, and that's just not doable. You need a business partner. You need a person who's going to be the person you're going to bounce ideas off of uh, or come up with, you know, seeing things from different eyes, different, a different angle. Um, right. Really, and that's why I said I personally can't run my business without my coach. The, even coaches have coaches. <laughs> Absolutely, We're, it's, it's uh, like one of those things. If we don't have a coach, how can we coach? You know, because exactly. we need somebody to talk to too. Because sometimes, you know, we're not all spiritually fit at the same time. Let's just be real. OK, we don't all have all the answers. We are not all that with a cherry on top. However, we have we are of maximum benefit to our clients and we stay accountable to our businesses and our coaches, too, because right. we can also get to burnout. So <laughs> if I'm in the trenches and I have my other clients who are in the trenches, we still need to have that lifeline. We still need to have that AD. We still need to have our head coach, you know, and other head coaches. It all runs. It, you and I both, Yvonne, it's so funny. You and I both love Gary Vee. Yes, we do. I love him because of his, his vernacular and his big, huge heart. So if, oh, if I could preface kind of how my style of coaching is, I'm like the female version. So just be ready. <laughs> I, I love that. So if people who are familiar with uh, Gary Vaynerchuk and his, and his way of, you know, just telling – Tell him the facts, you know, and he's not definitely not about the fluff. Um, that's Claire. Claire is, is the right person for you. Um, so what, what we're going to do is I'm going to just once again, let everyone know, um, you know, if you're, if you're coachable and approachable, then you are the right person to give us a, give us a call schedule your discovery call with me, Yvonne. You can use the QR code on the bottom. I can see that there. We'll have a 15 minute discovery call. We'll talk about Claire's program and, and the things that she's going to do for you and take you through and be your support system. And if that's a match, then let's get you into coaching with Claire. So thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate it. And please visit um, getleverage365.com backslash Claire dash archery to learn more about Claire um, and also use that QR code when you're ready and only if you're coachable and approachable. We are looking for you. We are ready to partner and we're ready to help you take your business to the next level. So thank you so much. And we will see you next week, uh, Wednesdays at 10 o'clock live with your questions uh, to Claire Autry and Yvonne Sandoval of Get Coaching 365. Thank you so much. Thanks, Yvonne. See ya.